Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Learners of class 12, how are you all? How do you feel? Learners, today we will do the eighth lesson from your textbook, English textbook Flamingo. The title of the lesson is Going Places. I do not know why the writer has given the name Going Places, we will discuss that too. And let me ask you uh, learners, uh, you are all now in teenage, what is special about teenage? We call you teenagers and you are not a child, you have come out of that childhood uh, from 12 onwards you are called teenagers and you are going to become an adult, you are yet to be an adult, so you are in between. So what is special about teenage? You think about it. Uh, this story, Going Places by A. R. Burton, actually presents the uh, what is it, fantasy, celebration, and thinking of a teenager and her struggles with people and the outside world. Uh, you also must have been thinking. Sometimes, uh, uh, father tells you something, the teacher tells you something, mother tells you something, elder sister tells you something, you feel, no, 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 why are they so much of advice, uh, people advising me, I do not want to uh, listen to any more advice, I am an adult, I can do, I am, I am growing, growing up. This is what uh, you actually feel, so is it right, we do not know. You are, and also, you are not in a position to decide yourself on many things. So, this story is going to make you understand or going to present to you a child like you, not child sorry, a teenager like you who faces the same kind of trouble. You will have to decide by reading the story whether she is right or wrong and then you judge upon yourself whether you are right or wrong, whatever you are doing. Uh, sometimes you want to play more time, uh, uh, people at, the, at home says and teacher says no, 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 you will have to also study, you have to build up your career, if you do not do it, what will happen? This is what uh, the story, uh, 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 the problem the story is dealing with and it is a short story of current times, means modern times. Uh, we will, what will you do with this story? We read the story, we appreciate the story, attempt to understand the story, then infer the meaning of the actions and the characters of the story, also learn some vocabulary and some grammar through the lesson, through the story later in the second part. But in the first part learners, we will be reading and appreciating the story and discuss some of the ideas, some of the problems uh, the today's teenagers feel. Let us read and appreciate the short story, Going Places by A. R. Barton. I am R. Meganathan with you, Department of Education in Languages. And with me is Kriti, Kriti Gautam uh, from the same department. Learners, you, me, and Kriti uh, together will read and appreciate the short story. Kriti, uh, how do you feel? Hello, everyone, and I am really excited to do this chapter with Sir. What are the problems with teenage, a teenager? Sir, there are a lot of problems because we feel that we are always dominated by our parents and there is, a, uh, there is also a lot of pressure by our teachers and there is also peer pressure. So, we have to score 100 on 100, we have to be <laughs> uh, active in uh, every activity as well, we have to do co-curricular activities, then we also have to have a balance between our school life and our personal life. And, so, and I feel also there are you a lot also, of you also, issues. You also dream a lot means yes, I want sir. to be this, I want to be that, my career is being shaped. Yes, sir. So, this is what today's uh, discussion based on the short story going places. Okay. Let me also ask you, Yes, sir. what does it mean to title a story going places? Sir, I think the main character of the story which is Sophie, hmm. uh, she is not very uh, particular about what career to choose in her future. So, that is why the title has been titled as Going Places because she is a little fickle minded 
and she is going places I'm, I'm, with I'm her going to, career I'm, I'm objecting to saying fickle minded okay, uh, because teenager, yeah, teenager is vibrant, curiosity, okay, yeah. she okay, uh, a teenage child, uh, 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 teenage person, a yeah, teenager has to be like that. Okay, going places, if I say uh, Kriti is very talented, she will, she would go to places, what does it mean? So that would mean that because of my talent, I would reach different goals. Oh, so you will achieve different things. Yes. That is why the author has titled it. I shouldn't have discussed in the beginning, but fine. At the outset, we discussed it so that let learners understand. Uh, all of you learners will are talented. You will be going to places and doing umpteen things. Become scientists, players, politicians, artisans, innovators, creators. That's what the idea. So, come on, let us get into the story. Too much talk about, we have talked about other things. That is a good thing and warm up. Okay. Now, what is the story about? Is the story about? So, it is basically a story about a teenage girl and her dream, what she wants to become. Fine. All right. Okay, learners, let me start, uh, let us start in narrating the story in tit bits, not in complete because you are going to read. You should read it and understand it better. Short stories are to be read. Poetry uh, uh, is supposed to be read and enjoyed the way you enjoy uh, film lyrics. Fine. Now, Sophie belongs to a lower middle class lower, family, yes, sir. in a very poor family in the European sense, uh, not so rich. Uh, she and her friend John C, they are coming out of the school as they head, uh, as they were heading towards home in the street and uh, Sophie tells John C, hey, I think I will start a boutique, boutique when I yes, complete school. Then John C was really surprised and she feels, oh, it, it, it's a lot of money, you, you, want, you can't do that. Then, then Sophie says, no, 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 I can make money and I will do that. Then what will you do? I will become a manager of your boutique first, any shop and manage it very well, then, then John C. was really uh, you know, taken aback. Uh, nobody will give you manager, manager post, uh, the beginning itself. So, you, you cannot do that. Then uh, John C. says, no, no, I will make a good, uh, you will look like some kind of, you know, uh, cartoon character. Then she says, no, no, you will, uh, I will be, do good work, I will conduct myself, I will live up to the occasion and become a good manager, then ultimately I would make a lot of money, uh, money and set up a boutique, boutique. and I and will make money. This is what every child today, teenager in the world is wanting to do. Uh, but as she reaches, uh, and what is what, what, the reaction of uh, John C for that? Sir, she definitely objects the idea of Sophie because she feels that they belong to a lower middle class family and opening up a boutique requires a lot of money. Fine. So, and uh, that is why Sophie also suggests that she will become an actress first hmm. and then she will earn a lot of money and then she will open up and, and an actress, she also says an actress need not work full time. Yes. So, do one movie, one particular thing and make money then rest some time and again the second movie, things like that. So, now as the dialogue gets over, conversation, Sophie comes home. Yes, sir. How does the house look like? So, the house is uh, really untidy in sense there are utensils which are needs, which needs to be washed. Mm. There, there is their father mm. and uh, the little, little boy brother, Derek, uh, Derek mm. and her mother as well. Yeah, and the Derek throws the shoe yes, somewhere. Yes, it is a typical uh, uh, lower middle class household in any country most likely. Yes. And because they have to take care of themselves and w work in the uh, factory or somewhere and come back, take care of the home, the child comes back from uh, school, takes care of hums, himself or herself. This is one thing. Now, now, uh, uh, what happens to Sophie? She moves out uh, to meet his, uh, meet her? Elder brother. Elder brother. He, she moves out to meet her elder brother. What is his name? Jeff. Jeff. And Jeff, what is Jeff? Sir, he is basically, uh, he has cleared school, it is almost 3 years that mm. he has cleared school mm. and now he is an apprentice uh, mechanic and he is trying to fix his bicycle which is in the garage. Mm. And bike, 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 bike. Oh, okay, bike. So, Sophie reaches him and uh, talk, tries to talk, uh, talk to him 
and she she describes to the, the author describes uh, the uh, the fellow the elder brother Jeff to us he said what she says it is very difficult to take uh, his words, words. words uh, from his mouth, his, his words are prized. prized it is yes. like bind, fi finding a stone in, uh, in the ground, uh, it is not easy. So, he is very calm, quiet fellow in a way, and, but he may have his dreams, but he never expresses, yes. whereas she expresses. Then she goes to him and tells him, what does she tell? Sir, she is telling Jeff a s story about Danny Cassie, a soccer player. So. She, she tells him, uh, uh, what, she, what does she tell him? So, she tells him that she met him uh, at the shop when she was at window the shopping. At the arcade. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they had a little conversation and she also asked for an autograph of Danny Cassie, but because both of did not had any pen or paper, hmm. so Danny Cassie refuses mm -hmm. and so could not do could it. Could not do it. Could and not. they plan to meet up next week. Uh, and uh, so she, 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 this she tells Jeff. Jeff. Yes. So what happens afterwards? So afterward, uh, Jeff is really shocked to listen. He couldn't uh, believe it, no? Yes, okay. he shocked that uh, I don't believe you. How why, can you? Why, meet? why, why he didn't believe? Because because Cassie is a very famous soccer player mm. and one of the favorites of uh, Sophie. Sophie and the family itself, uh -huh. and then yes, the, the whole whole English people, and because. Uh, Cassie plays for Northern Ireland, that yes, is sir. part of England. Then, with the, because of him, uh, the, the team, United team, uh, wins lot of matches. So, now what happened? Now, uh, Jeff comes to his father and tells, Oh, she met Dan, Danny Cassie. Yes. His father, the father is uh, in a way, you know. Uh, not uh, showing much interest because he could he can't believe that because such a poor poor family girl uh, could not have met such a such a brilliant, brilliant and great uh, celebrity like yes, player. Yes. So he says, "Is that true?" He is asking. Then she says, uh, "She doesn't say anything." And the mother shrugs uh, to uh, pass a comment that, "Oh, it, it would not have been possible." But uh, but what happens later, Jeff? slightly believes that she may have met. So, now learners, if you read the short story, you guess whether Sophie is telling truth or a lie. That is uh, up to you. I, I do not want to disturb, we do not want to disturb your, disrupt your reading. So, please go ahead and read. Now, uh, what, what does Jeff do? He goes and tells her friends that she had Met Met Danny Cassie. Cassie. Yes. So, they started asking him, but now uh, Sophie is really irritated, annoyed uh, with her brother saying that I thought that this fellow is intimate to me and he also, he also nurtures some sort of uh, uh, alignment, secret uh, means the kind of thing. I thought he would keep the secret with him, but he told, but they are all making, uh, almost making fun of her. Fun of her. Fun of yes. her. Yes. Then now, uh, in the meanwhile, she comes back home. And in the evening, the family sat together to watch the United. And the writer deliberately, uh, she, he is not using any uh, Manchester United or something yes, like yes, that, yes. So, some uh, popular uh, soccer team of Europe. So, they watch and they were very happy and the father says that, uh, father says that uh, oh, he, he is playing well. Then, uh, Sophie is happy and she nurtures her uh, fantasy. That is, she will meet Danny Cassie, Cassie yes. uh, and go for go for a date with him. Then she tells uh, Jeff also that yes. Jeff Jeff couldn't believe that. Then now uh, now the next day uh, uh, the same day they go and watch the match in the stadium in the stadium yes, sir. in which uh, Cassie plays the best. And the, the usage, the, he played like a ghost, past ghost, uh, the, the, all the defenders and hit the uh, goals short and made his team win. So, everybody and the father says, I am going to celebrate it today by going to have a drink in the pub. Yes, yes, then sir. and uh, the, everybody celebrates and someone says that, oh, I wish he were a 
in English because he was actually he is an uh, he was an Irish he is an Irish person. There is some, some uh, differences there. So uh, and someone says that he should play uh, his mind at the shoulder. That means he should apply more uh, more techniques uh, with his uh, phys physic, uh, cap uh, physical capacity. Then this is how the story moves. Then the father and she now she slips into her world of fantasy. Yes. Sir. What does he do? So, she is basically really annoyed that Jeff, her elder brother, being a very quiet person, discloses the secrets uh, which she told him and uh, she is annoyed and when she is going back home, she meets her friend Jancy and she is asking her that did you really meet Danny Cassie and she says who told you that hmm. and she is surprised to know that now everyone knows uh, and uh, she, um, Jancy says that your brother told us and she is surprised. Jancy uh, is some somewhere uh, really uh, doubting uh, Sophie that this story is not true. true. She has made up the story herself. Okay, let, me, let me stop you there and ask the learners. Now, there is a question for you to think or reflect that is, do you think that Sophie has uh, met uh, Cassie for the first time? She says that she met him in the arcade. Neither the uh, writer will give you answer nor do I. You will have to find out yourself. Fine. Now, then the, they watch the match, the, the, the team United team won, they celebrated. Then now Sophie feels that she must meet him and have a date with him. So, she, she takes the road, walks along the road, go to the end of the road and the hill station where she used to play as a child. Then she waits for him. There is a wooden, uh, wooden bench kind of thing where the lovers sit, people who date sit dating do, do dating sit, uh, but he never comes. Yes. She thought that she would come, she, uh, she wishes that she would come, he never comes. Then she feels bad and she wanted to just splash the, you know, uh, beat the uh, ground and to kind of, you know, anguished teenager and uh, she goes, she walks, she walks near the arcade where she had met him already and she looks at the clothes then now she happens to all and yes and see him then she goes to him excuse me are you cassie he says yes then they talk for some time this time also she wants to take a, an autograph, auto, autograph fr from him this time also she wanted to have an autograph from him for her younger brother uh, but he also wanted to give him this time also he did not have uh, pen or paper, neither Sophie has any uh, paper or pen. So, as she walks, looks at the um, her, her father's bicycle near the pub, uh, she was happy that uh, she would not, he would not be at home to scold her. This is, this, is a, this happens before he, yes, she meets yes, Cassie. Yes, sir. This is what the story ends, am I right? Yes, sir. And so, this is the whole story about a teenage life as well because they are dreaming a lot, they are fantasizing about their uh, favorite hero or a cricketer or a famous model and they dream or fantasize situations that they are meeting them or they, are, they put up posters, really big posters in their room because they idealize them basically. And this is a story which tells us about that whole scenario in a teenage life. Learners. We have read the story, we assume that we have read the story, at least we have discussed the story. Now, we have got some questions for you to reflect, that means to react on the story, the events in the story and people in the story. Kriti? Yes, sir. I am going to ask you on behalf of the learners, you will have to answer. Sure, sir. Why does Sophie behave the way she behaves? I am not going to ask you a question whether she met Cassie, uh, whether, whether she was right or wrong, no people behave the way they behave in spite of advice, a cautious attempt to behave properly, right path, but things happen. That is what the nature of the world and teenager is a very matured, uh, tempestuous, lot of ideas. So, why does she behave the way she behaves? So, first of all, she is a teenage girl. So, she is feeling a lot of emotions. Secondly, uh, maybe she wanted 
to be the center of attention so that everybody but she never tells anybody she nurtures herself yes she nurtures herself no within herself some secrets so how how do you feel so maybe she wanted to be a to be the center of attention indirectly and uh, her brother who is not talking much uh, the elder brother she wants to uh, she, she wants the interest of her brother in her stories okay. more okay then so she tells some of the she shares some of the secrets with him yes yes sir and okay now i'm uh, asking a uh, very typical question uh, and difficult question both uh, did she ever meet danny kesi so we can't tell hmm. uh, but i feel that she did not meet danny kesi it's a imaginary story which she has made so she is fantasizing yes sir it's a kind of fantasy yes sir learners if you dream in the night that's dream if you dream during day that is revery then and then i know that i will i'll talk about dreams later a bit later what uh, what uh, mm, uh, dr apj abdul kalam also said uh, we will do that later now okay is it typical is she normal so yes i can say she is a normal teenage mm. girl okay now sophie and john c were classmates yes sir so, but there is lot of difference yes sir between them how does john c differ from sophie so sophie is basically a girl who is a lot into dreaming mm. daydreaming as you said revery mm. and uh, she she is fantasizing uh, da- danny cassie every time and she has a lot of dream about uh, she has a lot of dreams about opening a boutique and being an actress is it wrong if if i am a teenager so i will become one day sometimes i i ask children what do you want to become one fellow lo- uh, last uh, two some two months ago he said i would one day become the prime minister it's a nice dream you yes, should sir. dream you should nurture so dream yes <laughs> sir all dreams are equally uh, good uh, but uh, on the other hand jancy is a person who is a very practical person because she knows that the background of sophie is not very well so she can't open a boutique and and at the end of the day both of them will be working in a biscuit factory and that's what yes, she says sir. okay now look at the setting of the story how does the writer gives the setting for the the uh, young teenager to dream of big things and another thing is the hero worship yes, which sir. is which is actually problematic also we have seen uh in uh, in in our indian scene that we worship he- film heroes we think that they are actually really doing we'll come to that later now why does the father he doesn't show much uh, interest in her dreams and all so is it typical of a, any lower middle class uh, family father sir so i think so yes it's a very typical uh, lower middle class father projection in the struggling story struggling for your life yes sir mm-hmm. because maybe he's working so hard throughout the day and at, when he comes home he's so tired so he don't want to listen to any stories and wants to relax fine all right of all the people in the family he she likes sophie likes her brother jeff more why some alignment yes sir so mm. this is because she uh, sophie in the story herself she also says that he is a very quiet person but quiet being quiet does not mean that he does not have any dreams there are dreams which must be inside jeff he is unable to share it but he still and also, has dreams uh, uh, yeah and also jeff has completed school and now more than 3 years passed yes, so sir. now he has crossed in a way teenage yes sir adulthood has started yes, sir. That, that's what so there's uh, that's some difference but she likes him because she su- he supports her and she also uh, he she also believes that this fellow will believe her reverie fantasy yes then sir. okay and hero worship let's take up like you know that uh, like uh, indian film heroes and some political leaders also uh, we worship and we of course worship uh, gods and god related things and in europe we can see soccer players are worshiped then some um, uh, great uh, leaders are also worshiped and things are changing uh, there was a famous book by john ruskin who wrote hero and hero worship so what happens to uh, hero worship it has both uh, 
be benefits to some extent. Okay, sir. Uh, and and uh, you take somebody as uh, what's it mentor to to uh, to follow and progress. But at the same time, uh, this filmy heroes and the the what's it pop singers. W once Michael Jackson used to be the you know, great hero yes, of of, yes, of the sir. young girls and boys. And wherever he went, it was like a, you know, people were crazy after him. So learners, think about it. Uh, whether hero worship is fine, good, or whether we should be rationalistic, and we need to be, do we need to be rationalistic all the time, and do we actually enjoy the physical, mental makeup of teenage? Am I right, Kiriti? Uh, yes, sir. Fine. I am leaving to you. We'll stop this. Uh, stop it here. This first episode of this lesson, and we have a task for you. Uh, we, Kiriti. Yes, sir. Uh, the task is. Uh, you will have to read the story once, twice and some of the questions we have asked you about Sophie, her family, brother and about teenage problems and also about hero and hero worship. So, think about it, do your homework, we will meet you in the next episode of this lesson that is part 2. Uh, till then, thank you very much. Thank you, Kriti. Thank you, sir, for having me and having this great interaction of the chapter.